Hey, let's do a speed test to compare Infusionsoft to HubSpot. You know, a click here, a click there, three seconds here, four seconds there, over the life of an application really can add up. So let's see how these two compare. Over here on the left, I've got a little stopwatch, so I'm gonna be running that uh, as I open uh, different applications, different features within Infusionsoft and HubSpot so we can see how they stack up. Uh, showing the date here, Monday, July 17th. Uh, 2017. I've got a couple of uh, speed tests that I did. I'm working on a uh, an iMac 27 inch. Uh, I have very good speed, as you can see, just on the 13th, 81 megs um, upload or download. Uh, today I just ran this 82.5 uh, upload speeds. Don't really matter this time, but uh, pretty much the same. A little bit better actually. So very good fiber optic connection. Uh, I'm plugged in uh, physically. Uh, and I have a Wi-Fi connection. Uh, so everything's the same, right? And I'm opening very simple campaigns here, right? Right now I've got uh, this brand new Facebook 101 campaign I'm working with. It's only got a couple little uh, features, so I'm not loading a big, robust campaign that might uh, take a long time because it's so big. So let's take a look here. If I go start, hop over quickly, boom, hit the marketing loading bam so 10 seconds 10.1 second obviously you know to click away and over but hey uh, and it, again it's a very simple campaign uh, a couple of little moving pieces and parts nothing fancy uh, if we look at now go over to hubspot uh, i'm going to open this seven steps which has more moving parts than the one i just loaded uh, inside Infusionsoft. So same thing. Let's hit click, hop over, click that, come back, stop. So three seconds, 14, 3.14 seconds. Um, that's pretty big. If I were to continue hopping around, you would see the same thing. Um, if you want to do your own test uh, with me one-on-one, -on -one, happy to dive into this uh, in much more detail. Uh, I don't want to do too much here because these are my actual accounts and I don't want to spend time blurring out names and financial information because it's kind of a pain. Uh, but having been a partner of Infusionsoft since 2008, so going on nine years right now, uh, and HubSpot now since 2014, so coming up on three years, um, I still use both platforms. My entire website though is hosted on HubSpot and I'll get into that in another video as to why I made that move a couple years ago. Uh, it is beneficial, I think, for most people, but making a move is very hard. Moving CRMs is very hard. Moving uh, websites and CMSs is very hard, uh, but sometimes it's worth it. But when you look at a, a seven second difference in loading applications, if you have a team of two or three, you know, and, and maybe I'll do this in a, in a spreadsheet and show the comparison. But literally, click if every time you clicked around, it took seven to 10 seconds to load versus one to three seconds, you know, do that math. And again, when you have a team, if you have three people, five people, if you have five, six, seven salespeople, 10 salespeople, and they're waiting, 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 you know, salespeople are notoriously uh, impatient, right? Aggressive. They don't want things to slow them down and impede them. They're looking for an excuse not to use a CRM, not to use a platform like this because of Big Brother looking over them, because they want to use their personality, their freedom of expression, right? They just want to go with the flow. So when you have systems that are slowing down, that are not embraced by your sales team, uh, there's some sunk cost there, right? Some hidden costs that may be quite compelling, quite overwhelming to help you make a decision to go towards one platform versus the other. Uh, but again, I want to focus just on speed alone in this episode. Let me know what you think of this. Let me know if you'd like to see a demo of Infusionsoft, Entreport, Active Campaign, HubSpot, you name it. I uh, can help you line that up and help you make an informed decision that's best for you and your company. Thanks for watching this. Now go sell something. All right, stop the presses. I went ahead and did a little math on this, on this three seconds versus seven seconds just to show the impact uh, and it is 
rather interesting to say the least. So here's what I did. I'm working on uh, you know eight hours a day here. Uh, broke that into minutes. So it's just simply uh, doing our little spreadsheet formulas here. How many seconds in a day? Uh, how many? So how many tasks can you get done if you work 100% of your time on your CRM? Okay. So if your job is to stay in this bad boy and just work, then and so tasks, and I'm not, not even talking about like a true task, like beginning to end, call a customer or whatever. Just literally clicking around, right? Moving within the system, opening uh, new links, uh, editing a contact record, adding notes, creating automation sequences, whatever. Each thing that you click on, if it takes three seconds to open, you can perform 9,600 tasks in a day if you work 100% of the time in the CRM. If it takes you 10 seconds, then that's 2,880 tasks you can do in a day. That's a 333% increase if you can get things done in three seconds versus 10. Now, and I realize very few people spend 100% of their time in the system. Right now, I'm not in the system. I'm making a video, right? Working on numbers and, and making uh, screen flow videos. And I'm gonna share this. So. Very few people spend 100% of their time. So let's say you spend 50% of your time on your CRM, all right? So now I take the same numbers into consideration, but now we just, we break it in half, right? So that means your overall day, if you spend half of your time on the CRM and you can do things in three seconds versus 10, you're 167% more effective. Well, what if you only spend a quarter of your time in the platform? you're 83% more effective, more productive overall. What if you only spend 10% of your day? And this may be true. Maybe you have outside salespeople, uh, they do their thing, and then at the end of the day, you know, they spend the final whatever, 20, 30 minutes of the day uh, updating the CRM. Fine. They're going to be 33% more effective uh, overall, right? Because this is a weighted average of their total day. Now, let's say you have five total people in your company, uh, total burden, you know, uh, all inclusive of uh, payroll and HR and Social Security and everything else. Let's say you're paying total $70,000 per person per year. That's $350,000 per for your entire staff. Uh, let's say they produce 2x. You know, most businesses, big businesses, you'll see a 5x, 10x, I don't know, 100x sometimes. But let's say for every employee, your total cost that you pay for them, they bring in 2x the revenue. Then your total average or your, your total annual increase in income for this staff of five that spends 100% of their time in a CRM. And if they can do things in three seconds versus 10, then annual increase, $2.3 million. Let me get out of that. $2.3 million. How much per month? $194,000. Now let's just move across this, right? So we're looking at 50% of your time. Uh, if your staff spends in there, then you're going to add $97,000 per month uh, to your total revenue. Spend 25% of your time, 48 grand a month. If 10% of your time, $19,000. So $19,000 per month if you can get a system that's faster. So. Does that help you justify spending more money on a faster platform? I think it does. Now, granted, there's other things to take into consideration, but on speed alone, you know, if you look at that, I think that's a pretty compelling offer, a uh, pretty compelling reason to at least consider looking at a platform that may cost more on paper, right? Maybe the monthly bill is a little bit more, but the ROI, ROI easy for me to say, is significant. Hope this helped. Let me know if you would like to discuss this some more. I'll have a link um, I'll put here in the bottom uh, of this video and at the end of the video. Thanks for watching. Now go sell something.